Hey everyone, welcome to day 11. Let's talk about one of my favorite job search tools. This is Tag Crowd. I have gone to my resume and copied over the text. I am now pasting that into Tag Crowd. When you load tagcrowd.com, it will appear just like you see it on my screen. You will copy and paste your resume over and do visualize. So if I look at the words in my resume, what stands out? Do I want job to be the word that stands out the most, it's bold, it's big, that tells me I use it most frequently. Or do I really wanna go back and say, strategy needs to be bigger or uh, search needs to be bigger, resume. I wanna look at these, the bigger and bolder the word, the more likely it is, or the more often it appears on your resume. The other thing that I like to do with this is, uh, I use my snippet tool on my computer and I just do a quick screenshot of this so that the next component I would do, so I do a quick screenshot and I like to compare them in PowerPoint, but I, if I compare the two screenshots side by side from here's my tech crowd versus um, let's just go out randomly and find a resume writer role. Writer jobs near me. Okay, so if I look at, this is a resume writer role. I'm just gonna pull that one. And I can copy and paste over the job description. It doesn't matter whether it's pretty or not, but we wanna make sure and get all of it. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Okay, so if I look at the tag crowd for the job description, so I come down here and I visualize that. Okay, so you could also upload a file, you could do it to a URL, but here's the tag crowd for the job description. I can do the same snippet tool do a screenshot of the snippet and then I go into PowerPoint and I hit control B. So let me stop sharing this screen, show you how it looks in PowerPoint. So if I look at these two side by side, okay, or one on top of each other and compare, then what are the job description or what are the words that stand out um, in the job description that may not appear as frequently on my own resume. So this will help me, like I have LinkedIn a lot. They of course don't have that in this role. So while it's great that I have LinkedIn experience, that's not as relevant to them. So do I want that to be one of the things that stands out? Um, I would wanna go in and see how are they using the word user? So this is where it's really important to match language in a resume. If they're saying user, maybe, um, so in, in technology terms, an end user is anybody using a computer so it, or using the services. So how they're using the word user may be how I would say customer or clients. So let's, you know, kind of, is it user engagement or customer engagement? We want to match their terminology. If I look at, um, Ability, achieve, so that tells me, again, there's there's our driver kind of language, but achieve um, assessment it would be more data oriented. This is going to help me make some of those comparisons like what we did when we were breaking down the job search and just give us a good, powerful visual. I like how they have rewriter on there. I don't have that on mine, so I would go back and make adjustments, but it's a good way to go back and say, oh, it's a resume writer position, but writer doesn't even appear on my top, you know, words. Do I need to go back and make a decision about revising some content and including words like writer and writing that aren't even scoring on my top words in my resume? So uh, as you can imagine, ATS is out there, but it tells me I'm focusing more on the what, the ATS resume, than the action of actually writing it. So look at it. Do you have a good mix of verbs, of descriptors, of um, 
the what you did are the words indicative of your personal brand and your career brand. And um, so I love this tool for that purpose. I hope that helps. I want to keep this video short so we can get it up and running. And uh, I'll post your challenge of the day, which will be to go out and uh, create a tag crowd. It's super easy. Just copy and paste your resume and then post it in the comments. I will talk to you all later. Have an amazing day. Bye.